Welcome to Gotland. Uh, we started off this year, uh, 2020, with a new strategy for tourism on the island. Uh, we talked a lot about uh, how we should build a sustainable development of tourism on Gotland. We talked about how we should develop the thematic tourism on Gotland. And also we talked about how we should uh, deliver quality within tourism on Gotland. Then came COVID-19. Uh, we saw it rushing in while we were preparing for the summer season. Uh, of course, we started off with uh, trying to uh, find information about what was going to happen. But we know, now know that we lost about 90% of our international visitors. We lost 90% of the air travelers. But fortunately, we uh, were down only by 35% for people coming by boat. And most of them who came to Gotland were, of course, Swedes. We had almost no cruises. We had some new cruises, actually. Uh, but those were mainly within Sweden. So we uh, got people who were, uh, know about the regulations within Sweden and they uh, did what they usually do on the island. Uh, for the companies, uh, as we all know, tourism trade are mostly consist of uh, small and medium enterprises. And they also went through different phases uh, this summer. From, from the start, there were a great uh, lack of information what is happening? What's going on? How will it uh, affect us? And I would say that in the next stage, uh, it actually became something of a survival contest. How can I survive? Uh, what can I do to survive? And can I get the money? We have uh, two very uh, interesting weeks on the island. Uh, both the uh, Almedalen week, where all the political parties of Sweden meet here on the island. And uh, we have also the medieval week, where we have uh, lots of people coming in for those events. And they were all cancelled. But uh, we were happy when the regulations within Sweden changed uh, in the beginning of June, uh, where we could uh, again host people from Sweden uh, to come here and they all, most of them were looking for uh, quite a peace out in the countryside. Uh, what happened within the SMEs were that very many of them did not hire any summer personnel or a very small amount of summer personnel. Uh, it was more about survival. How can we get some money back in order to survive for the winter? And we still see uh, some of them are struggling, both within tourism, but also uh, companies that deliver services for the tourism industry. Uh, for me, that works on uh, Region Gotland, the regional agency for Gotland. Uh, we have our uh, tasks to perform and we cannot tell the companies what they should do. But what we are uh, working with is of course knowledge. Uh, we try to gather as much knowledge as possible and we also uh, try to make uh, market places where you can collaborate within the tourism, tourism trade uh, and uh, different players within tourism and also Region Gotland. We tried to de deliver some support. We got some uh, means of uh, getting money to the companies, but also to deliver uh, knowledge in, in different ways. And, but it was also almost like uh, the wheel all over again. We, we, we did our own experiences on Gotland, as well as every region in Sweden had to find their new ways to, uh, 
take care of this precarious situation. So we, uh, we were a little bit on our own and I don't think we did the best we could. And now I'm turning to uh, how it also affects our international cooperation. Because we, as many other regions, we work together both within Sweden but also over the borders with our neighboring countries and within Europe. And uh, uh, it all uh, came to a halt. Uh, and now in this autumn, again, we have started off by doing uh, exchange through digital media as, as of today. Uh, but I think that we can do much, much more. Because what we see is also that uh, there are emerging new codes of conduct. We have to develop new ways of uh, dealing with uh, what's happening. Uh, of course, international travels are very much down at this point. Uh, but hopefully, in, in the long run, we will come back to a more normal situation, but with new ways of taking care of uh, infections and so on. Uh, this is also very evident uh, regarding cruise travels. We were aiming for a season where we could have 150,000 cruise passengers, but we only had uh, 20,000 uh, passengers coming. And now when we are looking at uh, what the cruise companies are telling us, uh, we see that there, there will be new rules aboard the cruise ships. And I would say that we are much better in uh, doing this together. We need the broader perspective we get when we are working together in, in an international co cooperation. We need uh, to uh, strengthen our existing uh, networks and uh, projects. Uh, we are putting more emphasis on uh, our international relations as of now. And also we want to find new ways to uh, look for new opportunities within uh, the development of Gotland and tourism in the Baltic Sea. So we are very open to new relations with different players. So, uh, what's interesting is that our strategy for 2027, uh, where we aim to be a sustainable destination, is still valid. It hasn't changed. Uh, the information in it uh, and uh, the knowledge we have developed during this period is that we need to go this way with uh, being sustainable, broadening the scope of uh, thematic tourism and raising the quality in order to uh, be, good, be interesting for both national and international travelers. So it's more like we want to find a ways to hit the ground running coming out of the corona situation. Uh, and I think we are on the right track there. And also, as we already have heard, we need a new skill, digital transformation and new business models. And this is uh, well rooted within the tourism trade on Gotland. And uh, we are uh, looking forward to uh, doing this together in the future. So I can only say thank you for listening and I hope to have your questions. And uh, I would like to invite you to come visit us here on Visby Gotland. Thank you.